Now, I've just been told those are autumnal flowers. Oh, colours, beautiful. And uh, autumn is with us now, or fall as you call it, in the, um, across the pond. Uh, different colour changes which I absolutely love. And welcome to the Sunday Shave. Now the length of this video, I'm not sure, it might be the shortest yet, I don't know. Um, this is my father's shave, exactly as he did it. Um, I'm using the best I can of what he used. Um, and there was no three pass system, there was no, uh, it was a chore them days, it was a necessity and a chore. It wasn't loved and enjoyed. It was by a few, um, but normally the manual worker, the working man labour, you know, the hands labouring. Uh, it was just a chore, just any old thing will do. If it hurt, it hurt. Um, so, <laughs> what are we going to use? Anyway, how's your week been? And how's the weekend going? Uh, I hope it's going very well for you. I hope you're in good health having good shaves and not having shaves like this one and there's a fly just landed on the mirror that's a good I thought I was seeing things um yes yeah, so I hope you're okay razor now this is the razor he would have used one of these he had one of these and he also had a, a Wilkinson sword um classic I think it was the old type and he also had a Gillette where that is I don't know my mother is looking for that but um slight overhang now the blades he would have used would have been the Wilkinson sword now this has been used once so this is a second use uh, he would have also used unbranded blades whichever were the cheapest um, and my mother bought them all really he because she did all the shopping in them days um, it wasn't the man's thing to be out he did the grafting Brought the wages home cash in a brown envelope and said, they are love. And that was his job. <laughs> well, more or less, if you know what I mean. Anyway, he didn't, sometimes he'd soak the brush just for a couple of minutes and sometimes he wouldn't. Now I'm going to just use um, a normal standard, this is what, you know, run of the mill brush, Wilkinson sword uh, sort of thing he would have used. Now this used to smell a bit, which gives you the indication it's a bore brush. Some people say no, Wilkinson sword only makes synthetic brushes. This is a bore brush. Bristle. It's smelt. They don't smell synthetic. Um, so this, and this is quite old, this particular one. I've got new ones there. Um, have I got any there? Only the British version. Um, so I'm going to wet it. Classic. Palm olive soap, and we'll come to. So all we do is I fill. He used to. I don't fill the sink, as you know, but he used to fill the sink. So we'll fill the sink. He's a wet his face. What he used to do, actually, a lot of times, was he'd have a bath first, and so he'd come out and he would be wet. Um, didn't have a shower then, no. So it was just a bath, he'd have a bath first and then sort of shave. Or if he wasn't, if he just wanted to shave, uh, he would just wet his face or wash with hand soap, have a wash, rinse and then shave. Dip the brush in the water. That's terrible. Wiggle it about. So it's wet. Shake it and then he wouldn't hold it this high, I'm showing you. And he'd go to the stick like that. Just simple. I'm just going to gather. And that would be it. That's the end of it. Straight on. I used to be marvelled by him doing this. I mean, today, I would say, no, you don't do it like that. <laughs> but, uh, I 
that would have been it. Razor in the water and off he'd go. And a lot of times he'd have a cigarette in his mouth, a roll your own. And the radio would be on in the background. A battery operated radio. Uh, which I can't do in this video because I would be um, probably flagged for copyright. And that's it. Now what he's doing is wet it. Just remember him wetting his face. He never had these lines like I do them. Wet his face and he'd feel. And then back to the back to the brush, he'd probably dip it in the water. Gather a bit more. As I say, you must remember, it wasn't, it was a necessity, it, was a it wasn't a hobby, it wasn't loved. He had just this, a couple of razors, one soap, and let's get out of the way. I want to go down the ale house, I've got a darts match on or something like that. So now we'd go straight up. Wasn't worried about pressure, wasn't worried about angle, it just came naturally. Wasn't the there's no welcome to pass number one. Welcome to pass them. Now here he would go straight up. I can't do that. Even though I did, I think someone pointed out on my last one. That must have been the blade. But I can't. Especially in this shave with no prep. And a lot of times. It was just as long as it was, it felt okay. You'd have a feel about, maybe what we call pickups, he would just sort of, and he'd wet. I just remember him putting the soap on and sometimes just wetting it like that. You can feel that. Yeah, you say that'll do. That'll do. Rinse. Here the old plug going. <laughs> this is why I hate leaving whiskers in the sink. Awful thing. Right. Rinse. Towel. That's it. 
there'd be no flowers either. <laughs> and then, straight to the aftershave, no messing. And this is an original, you can see, Shulton. And this is an aftershave. I've got the aftershave and cologne. He would have used the aftershave, that was available then. Um, so this is the original. Oh, beautiful. Good bit. And then he used to shout, oh you bloody thing. Well, sometimes it's a bit worse than that. And he used to put more, he used to love his aftershave. <laughs> Another thing, remembering on, he used to do as well, when he'd finish like that, he'd do this. Just <laughs> Uh, right, John. There you go, and that's it. Now, he'd have left that. If I'd have been bleeding worse, which I thought I would have been with rushing at then, not looking after the, you know, just any old how. Um, if I'd been bleeding, I had some Rizzler papers there, which I would have ripped piece off one dot 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 but even though there is one or two here he would have left that it wouldn't have been bad enough he'd have gone out like that and been quite happy with it so that is exactly how my father would have shaved and many like him in the days past you know it's easy to get into the habit because of the way the shaving wet shaving world has just exploded with media such as YouTube um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these things, and we're all so passionate, love it. It's easy for someone coming into wet shaving who's young, thinking this is how we love it, how our fathers loved it, and they had all these Gillettes, and you know, you could buy a Gillette Slim uh, adjustable probably for, I don't know, £10 or something like that, or even less. Um, and they think it was this wonderful, you know, shaving world where everybody, like my father, his father, would have done the three passes and all. But it wasn't true. It was um, a necessity and a chore. Um, and the most, the, the best thing he liked about it was this. He'd use Old Spice, he'd use Brute. And there was another one he used. I can't remember the name of it now, it'll come to me. Um, but look at this walk many. <laughs> but that's the result. I mean, if I'm honest, it's not too bad, but it's quite. Well, he, yeah, it's a bit there. There, yeah. It's, um, it's not good enough, I wouldn't be happy with it. But as I say, this is a father's shave. And that's it, that's how we'd look. We'd be straight down to the pub, Dart to be out. And then he'd have a game of darts, <laughs> good life here. Yeah. A few beers, and uh, especially on like a day today, a Sunday, uh, he'd go out for 11 a.m. when the pubs open, and he'd come home at three. Not so much in a straight line, but quite merry. Um, and my mother, within 20 minutes of him coming home, there'll be a full Sunday roast placed in front of him. It's a done thing, but um, it was looked upon then that uh, you know my mother always said he deserves it. He works six days a week, and he deserves to go out on the weekend. And he did because he used to go in the week as well for a drink, you know, once or twice I think. Um, but it was a different different days then. He'd be probably called a sexist pig these days. <laughs> but um, now a very good man. Uh, good father, good husband, uh, even though you wouldn't think so. With um, but that's my mother was a home mother then. She did all the, uh, as many did. That's how it was, you know. But um, yeah. Anyway, I digress. This is the shave. That's what it was. Using more or less the stuff he used, and uh, that's it. Sunday dinner. Well, he wouldn't have told you that, but I'll tell you. <laughs> 
It's roast pork with crackling with the skin, um, boiled potatoes, which may change to roast potatoes. I'll do them myself, my own roast potatoes. Well, and boiled potatoes. I've got cabbage tomorrow. Um, cabbage, uh, carrots. And what else is there? Lashings of gravy, exactly. And the cider tomorrow is one called Crofters. Two litre bottle, 5% in strength. A few glasses of that as I wander around the kitchen. And um, yeah, that's it. So uh, it might, probably a lot shorter than normal, you might be glad. But that is exactly um, my father's shave, my father's shave. Some, as I say, some men, I would say maybe the educated type, the officey working type of people would have um, maybe taken more time uh, to shave in the, you know, uh, more towards the way we do it, I don't know. But um, certainly the working man, the manual labourer or whatever, he used to drive heavy machinery, my father, front loading shovels and stuff like that. Um, that type of man, it was just a chore and a necessity to get out the way and get out. Um, so I hope it showed something of interest, I hope. <laughs> it's different. Um, I will probably have another little shave later on properly using Thayers and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Sunday, what's left of it. Some great shaves. <laughs> Don't follow this. Uh, it makes you realise how good we are these these days now, you know, how we look after ourselves uh, via the skin and things, doing it properly, well, as we class properly, and we enjoy it. It's nice. Have a great weekend, good start to next week, and thanks for all your support. This opened a few people's eyes, or it was of some interest into the past, into my past, anyway. And uh, take care of yourselves, stay in good health, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.